Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. I hope all you guys had an amazing Christmas. Um, obviously no rest for the wicked. Um, the Premier League is back um, this weekend. Just before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. Um, you may have heard of them before. Yes, they do sell my merch. Um, so go and feel free to check out my merch after watching this video. Um, you know, there's a few results that didn't quite go to plan this weekend. But um, anyway, let's get down to it. Guys, you know what to do. You know what I do. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Brighton versus Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth won one at home to Arsenal. Probably a great point for Bournemouth, if I'm all honest. Brighton losing 2 1 away to, to Tottenham. Um, Brighton have lost their last two. Um, you know, it's very disappointing. Um, Brighton went 1 0 up in that game. They won't do it too badly either, but oh, it really baffles me with Brighton. Um, Bournemouth, I know, you know, I'm in the same situation. Two points just off the relegation zone. Um, this game is going to be slightly interesting for a couple of reasons, really. Um, you know, you've got the South Coast Derby. you got all different circumstances in this. You've got Steve Cook that used to play for Brighton and Bournemouth. You've got... Tommy Alfrica used to play for both. You you know, this game has got so many situations and it's going to be an interesting game, let alone how tight it is between the two clubs and let alone how pressured the two managers are under. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus Everton. Newcastle beat, uh, losing to Man United 4-1 away from home. Um, very disappointing day for Newcastle there, especially going 1-0 up. Um, Everton uh, beating Burnley 1-0 at home. Great start under Carlo Ancelotti. Um, going forward as an Everton fan, how confident are you under Carlo? Please feel free to put your comments down below. Um... As I said, this point though for Newcastle, going forward, I'll go, I'm going to predict this game, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Everton win, expecting that honeymoon period to continue. Um, my next one is Southampton versus Crystal Palace. Um, Southampton beating Chelsea 2-0 away from home, Crystal Palace beating West Ham 2-1, at home. Yeah, again, going forward. Um, Southampton obviously beating Chelsea at Chelsea. It don't, it's not, I don't know how you explain it really. It's like one of them ones where you're like, how does that happen? And no disrespect to Southampton, by the way. Um, well, yeah, again, going forward. Um, the Crystal Palace, you know, I thought it's quite a scrappy win. Um, two Jordan Onion goals. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I don't know why West Ham got rid of him, but I, I'm going to call this one a draw, I think, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Watford versus Aston Villa. Um, Watford, uh, 1-1 one, one away from um, Sheffield United. Great point by Watford there. And they even won 1-0 up. Um, no, uh, Aston Villa beating Norwich 1-0 at home. I think Nigel Pearson is the best bloke for Watford at this present time. Um, you know, getting a draw, but then getting a win the previous week. And they're currently on 13 points, just 6 points. Of safety. Move forward. Uh, as I said, I think Nigel's Blake for that. This game could be a table changer as well. No, it can't. But, you know, it could put uh, more pressure on Aston Villa. 
Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Watford win. My next one is Norwich versus Tottenham. Tottenham beating Brighton 2-1 at home. Um, VAR got involved in their first goal, which uh, put it offside. Um, and this is where I do like VAR, uh, whether it's against my club or with it. Um, Norwich losing 1 0 away to Villa. Uh, Norwich, for things that Norwich are really looking bleak. Um, currently on 12 points. Um, they've played, they've actually played their um, halfway through the season now as well. The only teams that still yet to play that game are West Ham, Wolves, who are currently still got to play, um, Man City, and Liverpool. So all the teams are now halfway through our season. How's your team doing? Please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Um, but as I said, things that bleak for Longridge, which I'll go for a 2-0 Tottenham win. My next one is West Ham versus Leicester. Um, West Ham loses 2-1 away to Crystal Palace. Um, things look bleak for West Ham. Sorry, I've got a slight cold. If I do cough, I do apologise. Um, things are looking slightly bleak for West Ham now. Um, you know, you're a West Ham fan. You know, how do you think you're going to finish? Please feel free to put down the comments below. Um, Leicester lose a 4-0 at home to Liverpool. That's a big statement by Liverpool. Um, this, I can only see this game going one, one way. Which one will go for a 3-0 Leicester City win? My next one is Burnley versus Man United. Um, Burnley losing 1-0 away to Everton. Man United uh, beating Newcastle 4-1 at home. Big statement by United because of the um, you know uh, statement. Uh, United going 1-0 down in that game as well. Uh, this game I think is going to be a bit more interesting than what people are thinking so I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two scoreline for that one my next one is Arsenal versus Chelsea big London derby between these two clubs we all know the over these two clubs I've had Thierry Henry, Frank Lampard, John Terry you know, the list is endless for the legends with these two clubs. These two clubs have always got my, you know, especially a game like this, always got my heart racing. It always got me in front of the telly to watch these kind of games. Um, this game's going to be interesting for a matter of reasons. One, Frank Lampard, two, Mikel Arteta. Um, you know, really get his first three points. They currently drew to Bournemouth away from home this previous weekend and Chelsea lost 2-0 at home. Um, but great point from, from, from Mikel Arteta's team. Um, obviously Chelsea go and get back on winning ways, which I'm going to back them to do that, and I'm going to go for a 2-0 Chelsea win. My next one is Liverpool versus Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton is still yet to play. I've already said that in this video. Liverpool beating Leicester City 4 0 away from home, sending that top top of the uh, table gap with a game in hand as well. Um, Wolverhampton sitting in eight, 27 points. This game is going to be one or two ways. I'm only going to go one way and I'm going to go for a 2 1 Liverpool win. My last one for this weekend is Manchester City versus Sheffield United. Uh, Manchester City still yet to play. Um, Sheffield United won one at home to Watford. Um, very disappointing day for Sheffield United, if I'm all honest. Expecting them to go beat Watford, didn't happen. Um, this game, I'll clearly see it going one way, and I'm going to go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. You're going to have a big fat if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.